Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a collab. It's hosted by my sweet friend Desiree from Mama Friendly. Make sure that you check out her channel as well as the playlist. It'll be linked down below in the description box. Okay guys, I wanted to share this recipe with you all. This is a, another simple Valentine's Day dessert that you can fix. I've got this Pamper Chef Almond Pound Cake Mix that I need to use. I'm gonna use that, but you can use sponge cake or you can buy pound cake in the grocery store. This is Chad's favorite dessert. One of them is strawberry um, shortcake dessert. And I've got some strawberries here, and then I'm gonna make some homemade whipped topping with heavy whipping cream. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and bake this and I'll show you what I do to put it all together. And it's gonna be delicious and it's really simple and it don't take me any ingredients. And it looks really impressive. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is put my batter in my bowl. I'm gonna get it open. That smells good. Mm. That smells so good. And then I need to add three eggs, one half stick of butter, and a fourth cup of water. So here's my butter. That pound cake mix smells amazing. Check out, I'll link my sister-in-law's website down below. She's a director for Pampered Chef and they have the most amazing bread mixes and cake mixes and brownie and pancake and waffle and donut mixes. And I love every one of them. So check that out. And I don't think, I think for the price, you get a good amount and you couldn't probably buy the cake and stuff cheaper, you know, that's not made and then have to make it too. So anyway, I don't know. Check it out though. And then I got the butter in that, a fourth cup of water. Okay. water and now it says to mix this with beat it with mixer so I need to get my mixer out gonna beat this. Okay. Now, and we are going to bake this on 325 for 55 to 60 minutes, so almost an hour. I'm greasing my loaf pan. Let me get a non-stick spray. I mean, uh, Baker's Joy is what I like to use on my cakes. I don't know why it's messed up for some reason. I think it's clogged up. Preheating. If 
That smells so good. That almond. Hmm. It's amazing. Let me get all that batter out. Okay. And then we'll wait till our oven preheats and then we'll put it in there for one hour. 55 minutes to an hour. While we're waiting on that, I'm gonna go ahead and work our strawberries up. The first thing I'm gonna do is rinse these off in the sink, okay? These are pretty nice. They look pretty good. I'm gonna get a bowl and we're gonna slice these up and macerate them. Do you like strawberry shortcake? What's your favorite dessert to eat on Valentine's Day? I love, my favorite desserts are chocolate covered strawberries, like for things like Valentine's Day. I love tiramisu, and I love tres leches cake. That's my three favorite if I had to pick. And I can make all three of those, so that's pretty nice. And have made all three of them. So that's the good thing about learning to cook. If there's something you like, learn how to make it and you can make it at home. And I also think it always tastes better when it's made at home. I really do think it's that secret ingredient you put into it. When you put love and care into your food, I think you can taste it and your loved ones can taste it. But what's some of your all's favorite desserts that you like? Let me know in the comments below. And what do you do on Valentine's Day? I like to typically cook at home on Valentine's Day or we'll get it to go and bring home and eat here. But a lot of times I cooked on Valentine's Day because we had four kids under five and it was just easier to stay home, but we enjoyed it. And then um, as they got older, I enjoyed going out the night before or the night after because it was so crazy crowded on Valentine's Day, and I just preferred staying home until the day before or the day after, because most restaurants will offer their Valentine's special for like three days, so it gives everyone the opportunity to come, because typically a three-day spread there, somebody can at least make it one of those times. If you're enjoying this video, I would love for you to hit that thumbs up button, give me a like. That really helps me out in my channel. And check out this playlist right here. With all my other desserts, I share lots of desserts. And maybe you'll find something there that you would like to fix your loved one. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you to do that. So, just click that subscribe button and hang out with us a while. Okay, I got my strawberries cut up and washed. And now I'm just going to add, I'm going to sprinkle some granulated sugar over them and put them in the refrigerator. And all those juices will start to develop and they'll do what we call macerate and they'll just get sweeter and sweeter. And then I'm gonna put the loaf pan in the oven and it'll bake for an hour and I'll meet you back here and show you what's next. Okay, I just put probably like a fourth cup of sugar in our strawberries and stirred it up and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. Okay guys, we just got it out of the oven. I'm gonna put it on my cooling rack and let it cool while we make the heavy whipping cream. Okay guys, for our heavy whipping cream, I'm gonna use 
probably what's left in this, probably a cup to a cup and a half. And we're gonna beat this to it's really got stiff peaks and then we're gonna add some powdered sugar and some vanilla extract. Okay, let's go ahead and add all you need. You're only adding this to be as sweet as you want it. So I'm gonna add about two tablespoons and then I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mmm, very good. There we go, guys. Got it out. But we do need to let it we do need to let it cool some before I slice it for Chad because he's gonna have cold strawberries and whipping top whip topping on it. But I wanna slice me a little piece and taste of it since I like the pound cake part. And he can too, obviously, but oh my gosh, it looks, it smells amazing. I don't know if you can tell, but like that looks so buttery. Mmm, let me try. Mmm, good. That is really good. Okay, I'm gonna let this cool, and then when I serve it up, I'll show you. I got Chad's cake here. You're just gonna take your dollop of whipped topping, put it right on top, like that. We got our strawberries, I'm gonna put it right on top. Come here, Chad, and try this. Tell me what you think with all of it together. Isn't that pretty? It's pretty. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake's one of my favorite desserts. And this one looks especially I good. I tell you what, somebody spoiled. Did you get a bite of mm -hmm. strawberry? Did you? Mm hmm. It's homemade whipped topping, too. Is that the best one you ever had? <laughs> you ain't gonna say it, ain't are you? Mm. That's good. Okay, guys, I'm going to be making my daughter in law some chocolate covered strawberries for her birthday. I'm using the Ghirardelli melting wafers in the milk chocolate, and I got guess it was a pint of strawberries that I've rinsed and dried off. You do want to make sure they're dry or the chocolate won't stick to them good. So make sure that's done. We're gonna melt that melting chocolate in the microwave at 30 second intervals on half power. Just gonna put them in there. I'm just drying them off and putting them on my tray, making sure they're dry. Good. Check the chips. We're getting another snowstorm. One to four inches. Starts, actually my son just kind of said it's starting right now. And I have done laundry all day. I had a mountain of laundry and I got it all done, but one load. I've got one load in the washer, one in the dryer, and one still to wash. But I will get it done. And I love chocolate covered strawberries. I could eat a whole container of them by myself.
Okay, and that's it guys. So with 30 second increments at 50% power, I think it took two to two and a half minutes. So I'm just gonna take the stem and dip it in there. Like that, that's all you do. show you what else I'm gonna do. Okay. I've got my tray here. I'm gonna get a few other things. I watched this YouTuber during COVID. It's called Hercules Candy Company. And they done chocolate dipped chips and they were the Ruffles. OMG. I ordered some candy from there and it was amazing. It's best if you get the full size chips but we'll do whatever we can here, okay? Let me get the chocolate and let's try this. You remember, Chad, when I ordered those ruffle chips from Hercules Candy? No, I remember Hercules Candy, but I don't remember ruffle Probably chips. Probably hid them from you. Chocolate. Covered ruffles. ruffles. Cho well, I don't know what I said the first time. Chocolate covered ruffles. And guys, was good, but... it's like this. My sisters and I loved chocolate pet ice cream and ruffle chips when we were craving chocolate, if you know what I mean. And it was so good. So good. The salty and the sweet and the chocolate, mm, it just hit all the, all the things. There we go. Uh-oh. Broke that one in there, didn't I? Chocolate on my fingers. My little granddaughters will love that because they love chips. My granddaughter said these are her two favorite things, chocolate and chips. Add a banana to it too. I don't know if I've got enough chocolate for it, but we'll see. like that and leave it right there <laughs> and then I'm gonna get another slice and take it on this side <laughs> that chocolate hardens quick so it don't get much on there but it's good mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, boys, it's good. Mm. It's good. Good. Look at that chocolate covered banana and chocolate covered chips. Mm. They're so good, guys. I promise. Try it. Guys, I had to include this clip of my sweet little granddaughter enjoying these strawberries. Her daddy sent it to me, and she was really loving these strawberries. I just thought that was so sweet I had to share it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you check out Desiree's channel at Mama Friendly and the playlist linked down below. If you haven't subscribed, I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Thank you for watching and have a great day. God bless. Bye.